Hi guys, welcome to our channel. My name's Les. Our channel. <laughs> when that happen? Today we're just gonna be talking about me and her, us thing. A meet, a meet and a boyfriend. <laughs> but anyways, I'm the mysterious guy that's been lingering in the shadows. <laughs> lingering in the shadows. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. <laughs> I feel like everyone wants to like get to know you. They want to know everything about you. They're trying to steal my man. They want to know your birthday, your social, your Ooh, that's not gonna Instagram. <laughs> Going nowhere first off. Mm, you hear that? Let's be clear. <laughs> yeah, tell them about yourself though. Um, anyways, I'm, a, I'm an engineer um, from North Carolina. Um, I got me a smart one. Smart one, Southern guy. Oh, you think you're smart? All about respect. Ooh. You're not the smartest guy on the planet, but the whole mom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have to tell them like how we met. All right. Well. First time we met was at LA Live. I actually came out here to see one of my clients in LA. So in passing, we locked eyes. Um, hit like two double takes, like, oh my goodness, who is that? And she turned around like, who is this guy here? So from there, <laughs> I turned around and I was like, like, what's up? And she was like, come here on the way down the escalator. So I had to like put some pep in my step and uh, catch her on the way down. and. Uh, Sorry, you know, shooting the rap a little bit, having a few a little bit of conversation. Shooting the rap? Yeah, talking a little bit. But she was uh, on her way. She was busy, but um, still made time to talk to me. So, you know, I guess I was worth the, worth the conversation. But, uh, <laughs> How long ago was that? Uh, about two years going on now. Two years. Yeah. Um, a little bit of time. This is when we first met, you guys. First met. Okay. So but um, after what? that, but after that, while you know, conversing. Um, I think I was talking a little bit too much, trying to find out too much information at one time. Uh, our friend was there like, uh, hurry up and get a number already. And I was like, oh, all right, well, if I got to sign off on a friend, then what's your number? That was pretty good. <laughs> That's what it's pretty small to stay. <laughs> we met two years ago and then we kind of just kept in contact. I think I just wasn't like ready for someone as special as you back then, you know? Nice touch. <laughs> less touch. <laughs> so less does this thing where he puts less in front of everything. If we're drinking, it's less drink. L E S drink. Less drink, less toast. Uh, let's have a good time. Let's, let's do, eat. Let's let's record it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's get to it. Let me tell you guys my version of how we met. So we're at Staples Center LA Live. Okay, we're walking past each other. It was almost like the earth shifted us towards one another. Like there was like electricity and magic and it was just like turned this way. We locked eyes. This is how it's supposed to be done, you guys. I'm just saying, this is how you tell a story. This is epic. This is how you tell a story. We locked eyes and then we both continued to walk and then we turned back and locked eyes again. True, true, true. And he was just looking at me like, like this, like that. <laughs> <laughs> He was like this, like, <laughs> and I was like, are you going to come talk to me or not? So he's like, oh, oh, oh. so he came over and he was talking for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Here you were. And, and my friend was like, wow. are you going to get her number? And then we, yeah, she stood there for 10 minutes, right? I did. I was like, you know, you were just talking. I was letting you talk. I guess she was enjoying it. Then. Yeah. So my friend was like, oh, get her, get her number, whatever. We went on a date following that. And then. Two years later, I feel like is when like I truly like just saw him as the man that he is, and I was like ready to like appreciate you, you know. You like that, huh? huh? That's how you tell a story. I'm just saying, guys, take note. I feel like, I feel like we should tell him about the first time you sent me flowers. You do so good now. Yeah, well, I do good now. Uh, yeah, you have to. You guys have to put them through training. Like you have uh, to teach them. There was no training there. Um, yeah, I was just like bridging the surface, trying to understand what it is that she liked. First time wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't the worst. I sent her like it was like a mixture of flowers, but what kind of flowers? Um, but she's <laughs> being specific to the fact that or whatever company it was. It wasn't. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been back to them ever since that last time I, I even bought those, but they had carnations in them. You guys, carnations, like, ooh. Ouch, right? Ouch. There were like six carnations and six roses, to be specific. See, she remember I don't. Just something like that. Wait, oh. after that, what did I tell you? 
<laughs> when you're like, do you like them? What did I say? I don't know, I kind of tried to erase that out of my mind, so I never went back to that moment. So, so when you sent me roses, what you sent me? It's all a blur. <laughs> so now when you sent me roses, how many do you send me? At least four dozen, at least. I make sure they're full stem, well... Long what? stem? Yeah, long stem, full stem. Green, very red. <laughs> full of love. You know? Aww. Yeah. Full yeah. of love, that's cute. Full of love, you know, less love, you know. See, there you go. No, but you do good. You always send me like surprise. He always surprises me with roses. It's so sweet. Uh, you guys have probably seen it on Snapchat. I always post, and it's it's from him. Yeah, it was always from me. I feel like when you're in a relationship, you have to send you have to send roses, even if your girlfriend is like, oh, I don't like roses. It's like they do. You have to send fifty roses. I'm just saying, like twenty to fifty. And the same thing to accommodate. I mean, there is a little bit of distance right now, so. Yeah, tell them about that. Yeah, right now I live in Florida, so literally on two opposite coasts. You know what's crazy? People are like, oh, introduce introduce your boyfriend to YouTube, put him here, put him here, and it's like, this isn't easy. Like, even just us here talking to the camera, like, it's not easy, you guys. So, um, you have to remember that it's like, it's my job to do this, but it isn't his, so... For anyone who's like a boyfriend, a husband, it's hard for them to get on camera, you know, because they don't do this every day. I think you're doing good though. But, I mean, less support, right? I feel like there was kind of a lot of pressure to introduce you. Yeah, hell yeah. There was a lot of pressure and for me, I was like, I'm gonna wait until the one year mark. But, I just feel like, I don't know, when you know, you just know, you know? Yeah. There's no timing when it comes to Introducing people to the public, I guess. Um, you just have to, you just have to do it when it feels right. And right now, it's it's right. Yeah. yeah. What's the most annoying thing that I do? Well, she boxes. <laughs> so uh, why is that annoying? Well, I haven't got to that point. You asked what's the most annoying thing. Okay. So she boxes, and um, I guess I'm like a moving punching bag. <laughs> um, at all times, so. No, he doesn't do it. He never does anything wrong. I just like to hit him. Well, what's the most annoying thing that I do? Um, you don't do anything annoying, babe. Ooh. It's the golden touch right there. That was the right end to I don't know if you guys noticed. We've been traveling a lot together. We've been to New York, Miami, Houston, Florida, of course, LA, Cuba, Jamaica. Did I say New York? She said New York. And then Puerto Rico is next. Travel, travel with somebody can make or break a situation for me, so. Yeah, that's true. After, no, the first time we traveled together was Cuba, yeah. right? When we tra we actually traveled together was Cuba, and I was like, okay, I'm going to know after this trip yeah. if it's going to work or not. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and, like, and Cuba was also the first time he, like, took my pictures, and so it was like we were getting on each other's nerves because he wasn't taking the pictures how I liked it. And then, but I was at the same time. But then he did like it was like the first day the pictures weren't right because I didn't bring my camera. I was using like an iPhone, I think. And then the second day they were like hot fire. And then I just like knew, <laughs> you let's, know, let's learn. <laughs> let's learn. That's what I knew. It was like a match made in heaven, you know. Cheers to that. All right, you guys, I know this was like a short video, but I just wanted you guys to meet Les. <laughs> this is how good of a guy he is. He's flying out tonight, and then he's gonna come back in three days and just be with me uh, during BeautyCon, show some support. Full on, let's support. Let's go. Let's do it. Filming. I'll wait though. <laughs> are you nervous? No. Just talk. Are you, do you talk like that? Hey guys. No, I don't talk like that. So you have to look at the camera when we talk. Not the monitor. See that? Close my hands up. What? I gotta get something to drink. Thirsty. Did you, did you want to get my glass too or no?